A uterine fibroids are an overgrowth of the muscle in the uterus. They're benign, meaning non-cancerous tumors. Do fibroids cause symptoms? They can cause uh, multiple symptoms. The most common symptoms are bleeding and pelvic pain and pressure. What causes uterine fibroids? We don't know, which is why we're interested in doing research into not only how to better treat fibroids, but what causes fibroids. It's not something that's related to uh, behavior or environment. It appears to be uh, genetic, and because it's so common, there aren't a number of effective things that can be done prophylactically. With some illnesses, for instance with uh, diabetes, by um, avoiding becoming obese, you can lower your risk. With fibroids, because it is so common and because it tends to run in families, there aren't a lot of things that you can do to avoid getting fibroids. Are there certain women who are more likely to get uterine fibroids? Well, in terms of ethnic groups, African American women are more likely to get fibroids. The lifetime incidence for African American women is 80%. It's 60% for Caucasian women, so a very common problem among all races also tends to run in families in that if someone's mother or sister had fibroids, they're at greater risk. What kind of treatments are currently available for fibroids? Well, currently the only cure is surgical. That's why we're so excited about the research that we're doing to look at a medication, an oral drug that can help shrink fibroids. In the surgeries that are offered for fibroids, there's two. Uh, the only cure is hysterectomy, which means removing the entire uterus. Myomectomy, which is removing just the fibroids, is also a surgical treatment, but there's a chance that the fibroids can grow back, so it's not considered a cure. What kind of research is being done for treating fibroids? We're looking at a medication um, that in uh, preliminary results has been shown to shrink the fibroids. It doesn't make them completely go away but it does shrink the fibroids. One of the other benefits is while women are on the study drug, their periods often become much lighter or even stop, which addresses one of the major side effects, one of the major problems with fibroids, which is heavy bleeding. Now the medication affects a hormone progesterone and that's how it helps to shrink the fibroids and there are very few in the way of side effects and there haven't been any long-term serious complications that have been seen with this study drug or drugs that are similar to the drug that we're using in this current investigation. Who would qualify to be included in a study on fibroids? Well, women between the ages of 25 and 50 who are not yet menopausal, who haven't yet gone through change of life, who have symptoms from fibroids. And as I mentioned, the most common symptoms are bleeding, pain, and pressure. Most of the women that are in the study are local because it does require multiple study visits. So it's primarily women in the Washington, D.C., and Virginia and Maryland areas that are, that are enrolled. Thanks to Dr. Armstrong from NICHD. For more information about the study she mentions, visit fibroids.nichd.nih.gov or call 1-800-411-1222.